we just learned about uh, what is broadly happening inside a computer. And now we want to learn how to design computation as a program, the instructions for computation. That is called the programming. To that end, let's create a program on our own. Let's use the programming language Ruby to do some programming. Ruby is a language for writing programs, a programming language. It's a programming language of Japanese origin, designed by Yukihiro Matsumoto. It's one of the most widely used languages globally. Let's see it, let's use it now. By the way, Ruby is one of the high-level programming languages that are designed to be accessible for us. In contrast, a language for computers, a language that computers actually understand, is called a machine language. We will experience programming by using a human-friendly high-level language that is Ruby. <coughs> Ruby has a variety of functions, but we will use only the simplest functions to do our programming. First, uh, we look at the basic form of a program using an example of a Ruby program. This is an example of a Ruby program. And this is an example of its execution. We will consider what kind of computation it's actually doing in the exercise session. As you can see, this program has various sentences and formulas. This gray part is the part uh, that actually performs computations. There are various commands written here. We will soon study these commands, but before this, let's see the general rules of programs. There are various programming languages. Here, let us see the general rules common to various programming languages. First, program is sorted, uh, stored in a file named after the program. For, for example, this is one program and it is stored in a file named sqrt.rb. This is another program, and it is housed in a file with this name add-8-3.rb uh, that is located in the memory. Next, program is an example uh, sequence of commands. In these pro example programs, a sentence written in each line is a command, which may look like a mathematical formula sometimes. A program is a sequence of such commands given line by line. Given a program like this, the computer executes these commands line by, uh, these commands line, by line from the top to the bottom. Of course, there are uh, exceptions and repetition statements or conditional branching statements can change the order. But otherwise, the computer generally executes commands in descending order. Let's take a look at the basic components of programs. The first one is variable, variables. A variable is used to keep intermediate results of the computations. In short, it's a box of uh, keeping data a box for keeping a data. A name can be added to each box, that is, each variable. A name is added in the letters of the Roman alphabet, such as A, B, or SUM in these examples. I explained before that data is stored in the memory in the computer. These variables are actually allocated to the memory and keeping data in a, vari in a variable is to store the data in the memory in the computer. In a program, we don't have to consider memory. We can simply assume that the data can be kept or stored in each box-like variable. The next component is a command statement. The instructions of the computer are written as a command in programs. Typical command statements are an assignment statement and a repetition statement. There are also things like conditional branching statement, but first we will study typical ones, such as an assignment statement and a repetition statement. 
Now, let's take a look at how these comp components are used more closely in this Ruby program. Here is this program. To see what uh, this program computes, let's execute it. For executing this pro Ruby program, we type a command indicated by the yellow part on the console window of our PC. The computer executes the program and brings up the answer of 11. This is the result of e execution of this program. This program is designed to compute 8 plus 3. First, we got this result by executing it. Let's look at closely how this program computes 8 plus 3. We first think about elements of this program. Let's start with variables. It's a box for keeping the intermediate results of computations. Viewing this program, letters A, B, and SUM, sum, are used. And these are variables. Let's next think about command statements. Let's first look at the, uh, an assignment statement. An assignment statement is a command to store a computed value in variable. For example, the first line is an assignment statement stating 8 is equal to 8, A is equal to 8. This equal sign is different from the equal sign in mathematics. It's a command to assign 8 to variable A. Therefore, executing this command places 8 within variable A like this. Let's look at another example. This is a command state stating sum is equal to sum plus 1. First, for example, 9 was placed in sum, for example. That performs the computation on the right-hand side, sum plus 1, uh, so 10. OK, right-hand side becomes 10 if sum, the value of sum is 9. OK? It's a command statement to compute 10. Then assign it to sum, that is, store it. Then 9 is over written by 10. This is how an assignment statement works. Next, let's look at a repetition statement. A repetition statement orders commands in a specified range to be repeated as long as the condition is met. For example, this yellow part is a repetition statement. It is made of multiple statements. The computer realizes it's it is a repetition statement if while is written, the range of ex extends until where end is written. The repeating part is uh, closed by while and end. In this example, this is the specified range. Okay, this is specified range. Uh, we have uh, t we have two statements in this range. Uh, the repetition statement repeats these two statements. The re relevant condition is written here. The command is to repeat if b is larger than 0. For example, let's assume b is 3. The variable b keeps 3. In, this, in that case, the condition is met because 3 is greater than 0. The value within b is greater than 0, so the condition is met. So two lines in, uh, in this specified uh, range are executed. How about if b is equal to 0? If b is 0, the condition is not met. So the while statement will not go through the specific specified range and skip to the statement after uh, the end. With while statement, if the condition is met, the specified range is executed it checks each time whether the condition is met and stops once it is no longer met. Now, let's try uh, executing this program from the mindset of the comp actual computer. You have to perceive uh, when executing a program or thinking about the program. A computer is a machine, so it will do the following with a perseverance. Uh, you might think it's annoying, but ex experiment from the mindset of a computer with a perseverance, please, with a patience. Let's start from the first statement. 
This is the first statement. OK, it is an assignment statement. Eight is, A is equal to 8. The statement in instructs the computer to put 8 in the variable A. So 8 is put into A. Let's go to the next line. Next is an assignment statement to put 3 in B. So 3 is put in B. Next instruct instructions uh, uh, command is uh, to let the computer to put the value of variable A in sum, because the right-hand side of the equation symbol is, uh, is A. The value of A is now 8, so 8 is put into sum. Okay. Let's move on uh, to the next one. This is a repetition statement. The condition is to repeat uh, if B is uh, greater than 0. So looking at B, its current value is 3. So the condition is met. So it does the next statement. We make the computation here. The current value of sum is 8. So sum plus 1 is 9. And the value of uh, sum is overwritten with 9. Let's move on to the next one. OK, next one. The value of B is 3. And b, so b minus 1 is 2. So 2 is housed in the box of the variable b, overwritten. Okay. <clears throat> then it goes back to the origin. The specified range up to the end has finished. So we return to the top and view the condition again. The value of b is now 2. So we go down. Then the current value of sum is 9. So 9 plus 1 is computed, and 10 overrides the value of sum. Let's move on to the next one. The value of b here is 2 as well. And 2 minus 1 is computed, and 1 is overrides b. Return to the origin again. It is still greater than 0. So we move on to the next one. And 10 plus 1 is computed and overrides where sum is. Let's move on to the next one. And b minus 1 is computed, and it is 0. That overrides b. Okay. We return. Then the value of b is 0, so the condition is no longer met. So we go here. We go here after the while statement ends. The command here. OK, is to display the value of the sum on the screen. Uh, and this is executed. That brings up the answer here. OK, uh, here, let's summarize the whole computation. Initially, the value of b was 3. But as, re as 3 continuously decreased, the repetition of while loop, looped over and over. It went 3, 2, 1, then 0. So it looped three times. The value of sum increased by 1 each time. Therefore, initial value was, uh, of sum was 8, but uh, 1 was continuously added to it. And then uh, as a result, uh, it computes 8 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, uh, giving 8 plus 3. That gives uh, 11. In short, this prog program computes 8 plus 3. It is a program that computes the sum of the value of variable in A and the value uh, variable in B. You might have a question at this point. Isn't the other new command uh, statement here? Yes, it is true. We have been studying uh, commands for computations. But of course, command statements for interacting with people are also necessary in programming languages. Among them are input and output statements. This put has the name of the variable written in the parentheses. Okay? And then uh, the command is to display the value in the variable uh, with this name on the screen. So by executing this command, we have 11 on the screen. Let's think about the input. So now uh, we uh, replace uh, this yellow part by input commands. By this way, uh, since program is modified, let's change the program name to simply add.rb. 
Let me skip in this course explaining what this get means and why we write this strange sentence. Please take the following as a rule. If you write in this way, then when executing the program, the computer will be waiting for an input data. If, for example, you enter 8 and 3, the data with the value, uh, inputted data, will be uh, given to the right-hand side of the equation and uh, put into variables A and B, and the pro computation will proceed. Therefore, the program is executed in the same way to get a result 11. Again, it computes 8 plus 3. Okay? By adding these num uh, putting these numbers, you get the same result. Cl clearly, if you type in other numbers, the program will uh, do the different computation. For example, by typing 4 and 10, it computes 4 plus 10, that is 14. So, uh, this program is a program uh, for computing the addition of two given numbers. These input uh, statements and output statements are necessary uh, for uh, programming, but uh, this is for necessary for interacting with the people. Okay? And then we are mainly interested in the computation itself. So in this course, uh, let's keep explaining uh, this uh, input and output statement in details and then concentrate ourselves for exploring such computation themselves.